Welcome back to the channel, and today we want to um, highlight Rashad Bateman. Uh, Bateman finally had a chance to get out there and do his thing um, Sunday versus the Browns, and uh, he was, what, eight targets, seven catches, 103 yards, should have been a touchdown, but um, they called him down at the one. So uh, let's see what Bateman did on Sunday versus the Browns. Cue the intro. <laughs> Now we're back with his first actual, you know, catch of the game. This is the second or maybe the third to the last play of the first half. This is Bateman down here at the bottom. Let's see what kind of route we get. This little stop route. Stop route, made the guy miss, got some yak. See if we got anything spectacular. Uh, DB's playing about about eight yards off. Just exploding, closing that cushion, trying to close that cushion and sit it, sit it down. Ball throwing on time. This is the key, though. This is the key. This is the key. He got it. Now he sees that guy and makes a miss. Now at this point, let's see how much yak we get because we're at the um, forty. No, we're at the thirty-eight. Gets to the 28. Gets to the 24. That's another 14 yards after making a guy miss, which ain't something we've seen a lot of do, a lot of people do lately for the Ravens. Not a lot of making guys miss. I mean, and if you look at it, and I know this is about Bateman, but let's look at the, the concept. Two minute drill first. We know this is after the Miles Garrett strip sack, that drive after that. So if you look at the concepts, you got hitches on the outside level, and you got seams, hitches and seams. Even though Hollywood kind of, that's not Hollywood, that's doing that kind of bent to his inside. Bateman gets his first catch off hitches and seams. The fact that he's making, making guys miss constantly, so he picks up 20 yards on his first touch. Piece of 20 yards on his first touch. All right, so now we're gonna look at the second target. Again, he had the left side, left side of the formation, the bottom of your screen right here. It's a simple hitch, simple hitch route. Ball's thrown a little late, a little late, a little low, but throwing it low protected him. Throwing it low protected him. Look at that stop. He stopped completely. Exploding off the ball, stopped completely in two steps. Bam, bam. Well, maybe three. Maybe three. The low, the late, the throw had to be low because it was late. In actuality, you want that ball out now. But I think, I think Duvernay was the first read, and because he was already closing before the ball came out, he came to Bateman. And low was the only way he was going to get it in there. Great job of concentration by Bateman. So he's going left all the way. You know, I, I said it, probably his first throw was Duvernay, but looking at it from this angle, uh, the first guy was was um, Bateman. Eyes go to him right now. Rips it. He rips it. Good job of concentration by Rashad Bateman. So that's two catches right there. All right, now now this play was not a target. And this, this is what the matchup down here. This is Bateman down here. This play was not a target. But look at the route running and how much room he leaves Tyler Huntley just in case he want to throw this, uh, this nine route. I'm, I'm out, outside releasing, but I'm not running away from the DB. And now as I get closer to him, I kind of lean into him a little bit. And now look at all this space. Huntley got to throw the ball out here. He ain't just, you know, if they were here and here, he didn't just avoid and be way out here. And now he got this little amount of space to throw this fade. That's a lot different. That's that's about four to five yards of 
miss space he got if he want to throw that fade, which is a good job of running that route because later on it's going to pay dividends. All right, this was the bogus offensive pass interference. Now Bateman's on the top side, on the right side. Good little jab release. The only thing about this jab release is it, did, it didn't make the guy jump inside. So that, that's good patience by whoever the, the corner is. That little jab release normally get him to lean and open one way. But it didn't. That's good patience by the DB. I think that's Ward. Now the release is outside. Huntley tries to back shoulder him. I, I know it's kind of fuzzy being from the All-22 and it's far away. But even on the broadcast view, that was, that was a shady, to me, shady, shady call. That I didn't see enough to say offensive pass interference. Crappy call. All right, this play right here. Got Bateman topside. Let's run it. Let's see him coverage. One on one up there. Kind of mossing the guy. Bag it up because he got a little choppy just then. Mossing the guy. Still forms that one. And I could have sworn he got an end zone. Could have sworn he got an end zone. Let's, let me see the back view because it it's keeps chopping up at that, that fight for the end zone. There's the catch. All right, that guy falls. Still form him. Lays out. Knee ain't down yet. Not a knee down. I'm sure he's over the end zone being 6'2", 6'3". Man got cheated out of out of, a, uh, out of six points. Got screwed out of six points. But let's go back to the route. Let's go back to the route. Now this on this one, uh, he does run close. He does kind of avoid and run toward the sideline. But Huntley does a good job of giving him a chance because this ball is not perfect and Bateman is not open. Remember at the top of your screen, he just takes off running. He doesn't get doesn't make the guy adjust any inside. But now the de defender is trying to use the sideline to help him. And and uh, not Huntley, Bateman kind of helps out a little bit, but he doesn't get too close to the sideline. The good thing is this ball is thrown kind of behind and Bateman has his head around before the DB does. So now he's kind of got underneath the defender and is kind of using his body to shield shield, him, shield the defender from the ball, which is a good, a good job. He catches it. That guy falls. And now he fights for these other 12 yards. I don't know what. And like I said, it keeps glitching right here. And next time in the pot, he'll be in, in the end zone. Next time it shows up. I don't know what the ref saw on that, but that was a touchdown. Good job of going up a high point of the ball. This this the only dude we got that can win 50-50s. The only cat we got that can win 50-50s. Other than Mark, I'm sorry. Other than Mark. The only receiver we got. Cause he, look, he technically ain't open. He just outplays that guy for the ball. He outplays him for the ball, gives him a chance, and he makes a freaking play. And keep in mind, the first clip in this video was like the second to the last play before halftime, which was probably his first play in the game. And it definitely was it definitely was his first target. This next one is a little simple end cut. Uh, this is this route is similar to the one when we, when uh, Lamar had the four interceptions where Bateman comes in. And in that last that game where you threw the interception, you had Andrews, because this is pretty much the same formation. You had Andrews come across him like a dig. And Lamar was throwing the ball to Andrews, but Bateman came through here and uh, tipped the ball and it went somewhere else. Well, on this one, Andrews is coming and going to kind of stop. So Bateman's going to get it, and that kind of puts this guy in conflict. He either got to worry about Mark right there to his left, or he got to come up on Bateman. He decides to stay on Mark. Bateman gets the ball right up in here and just dies forward for about five or six shots. So he kinda he kinda floats to Mark, see there? So now it's an easy read, just throw it right there. Then he, you know, gets what he gets. Easy read by Snoop. Easy little route by, by Huntley. 
and and really Mark just drew the coverage. So he's got to he just he got to he got to go on Mark Andrews. He got to go on after Mark Andrews. I got to stop Mark. Baby gets it, gets about five yards, and again it's hurry up. So trying to get the ball up the field as quick as possible. Get yards. Then it came back to Bateman the very next play. This is still the same play. Just see how see how this cat you know rotated the mark, and if we if we hit him right now, he might can catch it and you know and stay on his feet and get up the field. But he saw it late because you know he's looking at Mark, which made his eyes go to Mark. And then a good job of not just forcing that ball by Snoop. Good job of not forcing that ball by Snoop and coming off of it. He saw that guy day came off of it to Bateman. Bateman's where he was supposed to be. Got it. Got got what he can get. Now this is the very next play. Baby up at the top, right up, right up above the five, and two by two. Just another hitch, just little hitches. Now this is the only thing that I really had a problem with, but this don't have nothing to do with Bateman. Anytime we were in no huddle and we got a first down, we came back with hitches. And if you saw early in the film, some of them hitches were very close to being knocked down or intercepted. Huntley just had good placement and Bateman had good concentration on the ball. Now this this hitch is actually thrown on time. Almost so much that Bateman almost has a chance to catch it, see the guy, then make a move. He got the ball now. If he missed that tackle, it's off to the races. That's so that's a good tackle by that guy. But if he missed that tackle, only person left back here is him. Only person left back there. And this is Bateman's last catch of the game. Again, top of your screen here. Left side of the formation. At that time, he does a better job with the release. and kind of freezes the guy a little bit. Now he got separation. And he got a, a spot to, to give Huntley to kind of, you know, throw to. But great job by Huntley because I didn't notice this during the game. This dude free. About to jack Huntley up. Huntley stands in there. Delivers it. Gives Bateman a chance. And this ball was better than the first one. Because instead of Huntley having to adjust and go get it, he drops that ball right in the bucket. And we'll see it better from the uh, backside view. He dropped that ball right in the bucket and Bateman went and got it. Again, why is this cat not playing? I have no freaking idea. But this definitely proves he has the, the ability to play on Sundays a lot. Your ball. In stride. In stride. Great route. Great throw. Good concentration with the hands. Because the guy's still kind of sort of all over him. Dropped it right in the bucket. Right in the bucket. There should be no keeping this guy off the field for the rest of the season. There's no way we spend a first round pick on a guy and keep him off the field the rest of the season. Despite whatever little knickknacks he's still learning through his rookie season, he's the only guy that's a legit full receiver that can make those 50-50 plays and win like that. No, no disrespect to Hollywood and the other guys, but he had he's not as fast as Hollywood, but he's fast enough to do things that we need. Like we don't have the the most accurate QBs, but he can he can make up for those mistakes. And the fact that he's not playing a, a lot or in the starting rotation bothers me. And again, all my stuff this week gonna be positive when it comes to the players. The only negativity I'm gonna spew this week comes from the people that make the decisions. So um, this is the first video, video of the week. Rashad Bateman has a breakout game. Seven catches for 103 yards. This last catch I just showed is what put him over 100 yards. And um, I really want to say a star is born. We just got to make sure we do our part. Well, the Ravens have to do their part to cultivate this star. And um, again, if you like the comment, please hit the um, like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. Hit the bell so you can be notified when they come out. And share, 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 share. And again, I appreciate you guys' this first video tonight. 1251 at night. Peace.